Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Now, if this is your first time seeing any of my videos, my name is Expedition, and I do EVE Online videos, and some of them are for new players, some of them are telling stories, others are, you know, exploring with Expedition, uh, where we do wormholes and stuff of that nature. This one is going to be the second video in the new player series. The first one was a thousand hours in EVE and what it looks like. And it was more, you know, talking about the tips and tricks that I have learnt in the last 1000 hours in this game. And how I use them to make my game better or make it more efficient uh, per time that I spend in the game. Okay, so with that being said, you know, if you want to watch that, you can go watch it. There's going to be a full playlist just dedicated for the new player series. This is your first day in EVE, and what is that going to be? So, you're going to log into EVE for the first time. You're going to do the tutorial, right? The tutorial can, you know, um, be a bit of a long, drawn-out process, but just go with it. It, it. it covers the basics of everything, and... You will do it, and then after that, the hand holding is done. All right, and that is where most people run into the problem. Starting off, you do the tutorial, and you're going along. You know, you're mining, you're exploring, and you're fighting some NPCs. All right, and then the tutorial stops. You're in a system, and that's it. And everyone faces the same question: What do I do now? And Eve is a massive game, uh, and it's very complex, and that's where that's why most people run into the problem because they don't know where to go, they don't know what to do, and even if they figure out what to do, it's very hard to know where to start. And it is, it it can put a lot of people off. So my job in this video is to make it as quick and as painless and easy as possible for you, so that you never go, I'm not playing this game ever again. Okay. That is my job today, so let's hope that I do a good job of that, um, and we'll see where we go. So, you do the tutorial, it breezes through, I don't want to say it breezes through, it skims the top of what you can do in this game. And I will throw out some terms, okay, and whenever I throw out the terms, I will explain what the terms mean, so that whenever you come across them, you will know what they mean, okay? So, after you finish the tutorial, you don't get your hand held anymore. Okay, so it's basically you're on your own, go figure out what you want to do. And you have, the way I see it, you've four main options. Okay, and this is where you need to pick your your options. This is where you need to pick your main path of what you're going to go down. Because everything in EVE is skill points. Okay, everything is skill points. You need skill points for absolutely every single thing. And if you don't have the skill points in certain skills, then you can't do it. It's as simple as that. So, we're going to breeze over it really quickly. You've got four main options of where you can go. Uh, the career paths, we'll call them career paths. It's not career path, but we'll call it career paths anyway. So the four career paths, what are them? Well, you've got Rotten. You've got Exploring. You have got Missions, Security Missions, and Agent Missions. And you have got Mining. Now, I'm going to leave the mining one till last uh, for a few reasons. One, um, you can get very deep into it and, you know, at, after a while it can become very boring. But also, two, it is my bread and butter. It's my main career path. So we'll start with rotten. What is rotten? You will hear rotten a lot. And I mean a lot. Okay. Basically, what rotten is, is finding sites of NPC uh, enemies. Go on and clearing out those sites. Now, you might come across a site that someone has already done that they just don't pick up the loot. And you could be thinking, why are they not picking up the loot? You know, the loot is there, it's their loot, why are they not taking it? 90%, I want to say 90%, it's probably more, could be less. 90% of the people that do the rat sites, or combat sites as they're called, and the, the agency tab, they are doing them for escalations and bounties only, pretty much, 90% of the people. I loot everything, I loot and salvage everything, 
but most people are only doing it for the bounties and for escalations because on the lower end of the rat sites which when you're starting out you'll be doing level ones level twos maybe even level threes uh, they're all relatively easy and you can get into them with level ones and twos you can get into them with very very little skill points and you know you get bounties and you'll hear a bounty ticks and it's every so often what will happen is every time you kill an enemy um, you it will come up that a certain amount of esk has been added to the next bounty payout okay and every time that the bounty gets paid out it's called a tick okay so say you go in and you kill six enemies and each enemy awards a hundred thousand esk per uh, for the next bounty payout um, and the next tick of that bounty payout you will get six hundred thousand esk okay it's pretty straightforward it's pretty simple an escalation which i know on your first day you're not going to be doing escalations but just for the sake of it while we're here an escalation basically triggers a higher difficulty site um not within most of the times so i've never seen it within the same system the closest system i've ever had an escalation was five jumps away from me um, they obviously do go up in difficulty so you know be careful whenever you go to do your very first escalation they last 24 hours and then they disappear okay um those are where you can get good loot because you know for talk's sake i've done an escalation one day and in that escalation uh there was three waves of enemies i believe and in the last wave of enemies there was what was considered a boss okay and that boss dropped a load of loot but one of the pieces of loot was a shield for your ship and it was a pith type c which on your first day that means absolutely nothing but for me i sold it for a hundred and nine million isk okay so that's why people want the, the escalations because the bosses within the escalations can drop serious amount of isk and that's why so that is rotten that's basically rotten in a nutshell you know obviously pick up the loot right every little bit helps especially when you're starting out the game now once you get to a stage where you know maybe you've got a couple of billion um in your wallet you know loot that is going to be getting you maybe a couple hundred thousand might not seem worth the travel or even if you you know going from one enemy to another you know if you're not using mtus which is a different story but we're not going to get into it too much because each career path that we're going to talk about today is going to have its own separate video okay so that we can get more in depth so that is rotten rotten is just npc combat sites that's it exploration is exploration is one that is really easy to get into and can be very rewarding so what basically what exploration is is you will go into a any solar system and if you pop up in your probe scanner um which is alt p i believe um it will show you like cosmic signatures you use a specialized ship to scan them down and those combat signatures can range from anything so it could be a combat site it could be an ore site it could be a gas site it could be a data or relic site or it could even be a wormhole okay so those, those are your main things and um, basically what you want to do with the exploration ship is you want to scan down these signatures warp to the signatures and if it's a data or relic site for data sites you use a data analyzer and then you hack into the the container and you get whatever's inside it becomes yours or if it's a relic site you use a relic analyzer which will also be on your ship and again it's like a hacking mini game you hack into it and if you get the hack successful you get whatever's inside right and it's pretty straightforward you know the the issue that you will run into the majority of the time especially in high sec is it's more of a race against other players okay um so if a data or relic site comes up in a system where say maybe there's maybe 20 30 40 people in that system it's more of a race rather than anything else and say for toxic you're in a ship what is known as a heron which is the starting ship for exploration um in kaldari anywhere someone could be in a buzzard so like say for toxic it's your first day you're doing some exploring i'm doing the exact same i'm in the same system as you i've got more skill points and more a better ship than you do so i'd be using my buzzard 
you're using your Huron. I can scan a lot quicker because of my skill points on my ship, so I can get to the, the site a lot quicker. So by the time you scan it down and warp to the site, I could be finishing it up. So your main competition whenever it comes to exploration is other players and that race to get to it. Okay, now you, there's, you know, 50-60% of the time you're going to be left alone. Okay, um, but there is always that chance that you're going to run into another player. If another player is in the same type of ship as you, more than likely they're just going to leave you alone. You'll have a race to see who gets the loot and then you just skedaddle on out of there. Obviously there's other types, so you know, you can do your Darren Relic sites, you can scan down wormholes and then wormholes open a whole new a whole new kettle of fish, uh, which we're not going to go over in this video because I'm actually doing a series on just exploring wormholes. Um, the first episode is already up if you want to go watch it. Uh, so we're not going to touch on wormholes today, um, especially if this is technically your first day in Eve. We're not going to be even looking at wormholes. You're not going to go anywhere near them. If you see them, stay away. Okay. Um, most sites, you just warp to a data or relic site, you scan it down, you hack it. If you are unsuccessful in your hack, um, some of the sites just blow up on you. Whatever loot is inside is now gone. Okay. Uh, massive tip for you, even if you are able to put something like a cargo scanner on your ship and you see that inside that one of the the sites, one of the containers has zero loot in it, open it anyway. Okay. Do not leave the site half finished. Because if you leave the site half finished, it still shows up in other players' um, probe scanners, and if they warp and it's completely empty, it's just not nice. Okay, do not do that. All right, you will be the bane of existence for a lot of explorer uh, explorers, and you will not be liked for it. So please do not do that. Okay. Uh, the the thing with exploring is it's very hit and miss. Okay, so. Like, say for Toxic, I done, there was one site that I done, um, scanned it down, warped to it, done the hacking, opened the containers, and all four containers added together came to something ridiculous like 15,000 disk. Okay. Um, and then I went to another site, and because what I would do is I would go, say, I go, right, I'm going to go 15 systems away from my home system, get there. And do every data and relic site on the way back. Okay, that's just the way that I used to do it. You don't have to do it that way, obviously. And on, I got like fifteen thousand disk in one system, and then I went into the next system, done the site, warped to it, hacked it, opened the container, forty-five million. So, when it comes to uh, data and relic sites, it's very hit and miss. But if you're doing multiple sites per system or you know say if you're doing 10 15 sites in a single run chances are you're going to get something good okay now there is some sites that once you're warping to them it will pop up a warning message those can trigger npcs to warp in on you and if you're using something like a heron or a buzzard or an astero once you get up that you are quite it's not so much like a glass cannon that's more of a mmo term but you're very very squishy okay you're very squishy you are easily killed and you won't really stand a chance so it's one of those ones always keep an eye on your overview so that you can warp away at any given notice so that's exploring okay agent missions um, i will touch on them briefly i don't really do them i find them very boring and very repetitive and i know that's me being that's coming from a minor which is sounds stupid to say but that is the case it's basically you go to a system you find um agents who are doing like security missions you can find minor missions you can find all different types of missions um and you know that you do what they ask you you go out to a certain system you pick something up or you go out to a certain system you kill a bunch of people you get rep and after a while of getting rep what you can do is you go up in levels um, basically what you're trying to do is get the level 4 missions um, you can start making a lot of money in level 4 missions personally I just don't have the persistence to sit there and do boring missions over and over again and again 
that's coming from a minor which is going to confuse some people but it is what it is I know that there's a lot of people out there that like doing um, agent missions and especially whenever you get to the like level 4 missions that's whenever it becomes very lucrative um, but it's just not for me and again I can't really dive too much into it just because I don't really I don't really know much about it um, just because it's an area of the game that I just have not went into um, so that is that we'll leave we'll leave the missions there um, and then we'll go on to the final one which is mining and this is obviously something that you would have covered in your tutorial okay mining is mining is one of the ones that if you want to make a decent amount of isk and if you want this to be your career path and you want to you know continue on down this road putting it nicely you have to be omega okay and you know if by this stage you don't know what omega is you have two clone states or two account states which is alpha and one is omega um, alpha is the free-to-play version omega is the paid version whether that's paying it with real money or buying plaques through isk and then using your plaques to pay for subscriptions that way um you know it's mining is it's long it can be tedious it can be boring um but you can make a serious amount of disc um you will start off in the general way that everyone else will and that would be mining feldspar and scored out um and you'll be doing it and you'll be sitting there and you'll see it coming in and then you'll find a system that has a place where you can compress your ore and next thing you know you start to see the money going up and up and you're going this is amazing and then one day you will just kind of you will reach like this plateau of where you can't go any higher you can still keep mining you can still keep bringing an isk but unless you're on a mega clone you have plateaued you have hit that ceiling now if you decide to go down the road of a mega clone which i would advise everyone trying at least for one month just to see what it is like um but if you do go a mega clone that ceiling just goes sky high absolutely sky high um you know if you've seen any of my last videos i've talked about being out on ice belts for like six hours and stuff like that there you know i'm making serious amount of esque because the natural progression of things is that you will start off an adventure right and then if you go to omega what you will then do is start scaling into barges and like the retriever and stuff and then after the barges the next you know progressional path point is exhumers after exhumers you want to go into like a command industrial ship so you want to you'll start off more than likely in a porpoise and then you will go to an orca most people is the orca is where they stop okay um i can scale into a rourke or a rourke will well, i can't pronounce it so we'll just call it rourke um if i was to try and scale into a rourke now it would probably take me about 15 16 days which in the terms of eve is very very short um but generally speaking i have absolutely no use for it whatsoever so it'll just be a waste of skill points and a waste of like four billion isk um but that would be your natural progression so you'll start off an adventure then you'll go to more than likely a retriever and then you would go to something like a hulk and then the orca okay so but the problem with the orca is you can't really do much proper mining you can drone mine um so if it's an orca that you're looking for then that's whenever you run into the issue of needing two accounts and if you need two accounts then that is two omega accounts that you need because anything after the venture in the ore ship tree is all omega okay so just be aware of that um but if you do go omega what i would suggest is if you're going to go omega obviously you're going to start off in the venture put all your skill points into if mining is the way that you want to go this is my advice for you venture then put all the skill points into your skill tree for a mining barge and also put in to your skill tree for ice mining okay um obviously you know you will have probably seen someone and you'll see it a lot in high sack in local chat people saying if you want a free 1 million skill points use this link and you can you know activate it retroactively um if you want to use my link it's in the description below you don't have to just for 
complete transparency sake if you do use my link and you do sign up to Omega and stuff I get stuff in return okay but no extra cost to you it's up to you if you want to use someone else's and you have a friend who you want to use theirs go for it my advice is use someone's anyone's doesn't have to be mine because that million skill points at the very start will take off so much skill time it is unbelievable okay so do that okay um, so what I would advise is if you are going to go the road of mining and you have signed up the Omega within you know the first few days of starting or even the first day of starting um, because I would advise on trying Omega uh, what I would suggest you do is obviously you'll have your venture then queue up your skill points for um, your barges then queue up your skill points or queue up the skills for ice mining and then put the exhumers in underneath those um, and I know this is all just mining and I know that um, and then use the 1 million skill points more than likely you will still have some left over um, and then that's whenever you can put it on the other things that, that's only if you have looked at mining and mining is what I want to do because once you start mining ore and you're like yeah I'm making, I'm making S care I'm making money and then you start mining ice that's the the level between ice and ore is astronomical pardon the pun um it is insane it really is uh, i done a video and in one of the videos i showed you how much i made in the month of december i sold one thousand or one million five hundred thousand or something like that units of I think it was like feldspar or scordite, one of the beginning ores, and I made like twenty three million isk. Um, and I sold four thousand and fifty two units of compressed white glaze, which is the ice that is available in Highsack, and I made after taxes like six hundred and fifty million. So the difference in value is insane. So look into that. That is the four main categories of where you would, you know, where you, your career paths are going to be. So now is the time to figure out because again, like I said at the beginning of the video, Eve is all about skill points. You know, the two thing, the two main things that you need for to be successful in Eve is knowledge and skill points. Okay, those are the two main things, and. If you start off your game right and go right, I want to do mining as a career path. So mining is going to be my primary form of income. And then whenever I get bored of mining, I'm going to do exploring. Right, okay. So set up your skill queue to have all of those in it. And then what you want to do after it is you want to apply your 1 million skill points. You will learn everything. Now, straight off the bat, you're not going to have enough money to go out and buy a retriever and then you know buy a heron and get it fully fitted and get everything ready for man and ice and then go on and explore whenever you're bored you're not going to have the money but you will have the skill points in it so that once you do finally have the money you can jump straight into it so that would be my advice use someone's link you can use mine if you want if you don't want to and you want to use someone else's and go for it get those 1 million free skill points have it just sitting in your queue don't apply them and then once you've got your queue to where you want it to be so say you wanted to do ratten first right okay what's a beginner a good beginner ratten ship well vaxxer is a good ship to begin with right okay so what do i need to begin with that get all the the, the skills that you need to fly in a vaxxer and flap well uh queue them all up okay i want to do some exploring as well right well you're going to want it like a heron or something along those lines right okay so what do i need for that queue up all those skills to fly a fully fitted heron and once they're all there apply the skill points right that's it right and then the rest of it, whenever it comes down to it it's all about just having a goal in mind right don't be coming into the even your first day going i want to make a billion isk within this month because it's not going to happen it's not because not only would you not know what to do or where to start to make the one billion isk you won't even have the skill points to complete that okay so obviously you know i'm i'm a miner right that that's where i make my income in the last five days of mining i have gathered up a total resources of near 400 million isk 
within five days now obviously once I sell that I'm not going to get all that back there's going to be 10% tax on top of it for the corporation and stuff like that there so there's that and I will end on this on your first day unless you're joining up with friends stay away from corporations okay because you need to be able to tell the difference between a corporation who is friendly for new players or a corporation who is going to take advantage of new players okay so stay away from corporations to begin with um, figure out what way you want your skill points to be added uh, figure out your skill queue okay and you can reorder skill queues so it doesn't matter what way you put them in you can drag and drop to reorder them they just have to be in order so for example if you're doing say sans one through five you obviously can't be training sans five before you train sans three so it has to be sans one two three four five and then you can move that block up and down and stuff like that there stay away from corporations put your skills in uh get the three million skill points apply them in whatever way but just have fun all right don't go in with the expectations of i'm going to do this this and this right because more than likely in your first day and even your first week most of that's not getting done um talk to people as well right because in high sec most people will just talk back to you and you know not everyone is out to kill you um stay away from null sec stay away from wormholes and stay away from low sec uh for your first week just stay in high sec don't leave high sec just stay in high sec unless again unless you're getting in and you've got friends who are well established in the game who know what they're doing stay away just stay in high sec figure out what you want to do put all in the relevant skills and it will come in time this is a very 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 complex game that people are just stepping into um, and it's not a, just a game that you can just pick up and write them away I'm, I'm good to go now okay so take your time once you get over that initial hump of oh my god everything is just so complex the game becomes insanely fun and you will love it absolutely love it so but with that being said that is going to be it for this video um, in the rest of this series we will go in depth more of what to do and how to do it each video so like we'll do a video just solely on ratting we'll do a video solely on exploration we'll do a video on um, mining um we'll try and get some help from someone um we're really building a wee community here and there are so many helpful people that watch my videos that interact with me and you know speak to me in game someone along the lines is going to do level four missions i will pick their brain and then i'll come back to you with a video on that as well um, there is one thing coming up so for the people that have watched this who have actually spoke to me in game um, that exploration thing where we're going to see Steve that's happening soon I'll, I'll be speaking to you but we're going to do it guarantee you we're going to do it anyway that, ladies and gentlemen that's going to do it for me so until next time thanks for watching